Good morning, boys and girls. And I'm excited that we're gonna have our Sunday school lesson this morning. And so you might be looking and seeing that I am outside. And what I wanna do right now as we start our Sunday school is I want you guys to get up and maybe walk, you guys can walk around in your house with me. But we are remembering what Mrs. Robinson taught us last Sunday about the two, man, two men on the road to Emmaus. So they were walking on the road. So let's all, all start walking around. I'm outside the church, they're walking. And these two men, they were talking and talking and saying, oh man, I can't, I'm just so full of sadness over the things that have happened about Jesus, about how he died on the cross because he was supposed to save us. And as they were walking, suddenly someone else appeared with them and started asking them questions. And so they started having a conversation with this person and saying, have you not heard all of these things that have taken place in Jerusalem? And then they realized who it was. It was, it was Jesus. Jesus was there walking with them. <gasps> and they were like, whoa, this is amazing. Jesus is really alive. And they were so surprised. And then they decided to run back as fast as they could to Jerusalem. So let's run back. We're gonna run back, run, 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 run back to where we started. So we're running back. And now we're gonna learn this morning what happened after they returned back to Jerusalem. So these two men who were on that road to Emmaus and who suddenly Jesus appeared with them and they talked to them, they ran back to Jerusalem and they wanted to tell Jesus's followers what happened. So they ran back and now I'm in the conference room here at church and there's lots of times where this room is used to have really important conversations. So there were a lot of really important conversation during this time in the Bible in Jerusalem. Jerusalem was a really important place. So they came back and they were all gathered together and these two men, they came and they said, it's true, Jesus is alive. We saw him on the road to Emmaus. And so they started to have a discussion with each other. Can you believe what these people are saying? They're saying that Jesus really is alive. I can't believe it. It's amazing. All right. I know that that's insane. It is. It's amazing. But I, I mean, I haven't seen him. And I'm wondering if is, is all this really true? There's no way all these things are true. People don't come back to life. I don't know. I don't know if I believe all these things. So Jesus' followers were having lots of conversations. And you know what? Some of them had a hard time believing what they had heard, that Jesus was alive. And as they were talking and discussing these things, something really amazing happened. All of a sudden, they heard a voice, and it said, Peace be with you. And I wonder, who do you think, I bet you guys can guess, who that voices who who uh who it was that said that it was jesus suddenly out of nowhere as they were discussing these things and some of them were doubting jesus appeared and he was there in person with them and they were all whoa whoa, whoa, whoa. look you see their faces don't they look really surprised like wow what's going on this is incredible and they were startled and frightened and they were like it's a ghost it's a ghost oh no run away Ah, oh, and they're so silly that they would think that this was a ghost. So Jesus looked at them and he said, Why are you troubled? And why do doubts rise in your mind? Look, look at my hands and my feet. And Jesus showed them the, the holes in his hands and the holes in his feet. He says, It's I, myself, it's really me. I'm really alive. Touch and see. You know, a ghost doesn't have flesh and bones, as you see that I have. And he he did this and he was showing them look it really is me this isn't just imagination this isn't just something crazy happened this really is true jesus really is alive and he was really there in person now jesus asked something right after this that's kind of an interesting question to ask he says do you have anything to eat you know what that shows us that shows us Jesus truly was alive. It wasn't just like a ghost. It wasn't just like a spirit that you can see through. He had a body just like mine, just like your guys's, and he was hungry and he ate. So they gave him a piece of fish and he ate it. So he really was alive. This really was Jesus. And he said to them, this is what I told you while I was still with you, right? Because Jesus told them these things were gonna happen and yet they still didn't believe. 
Everything must be fulfilled that is written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms. Now, let me ask you guys a question. The law of Moses, is that in the New Testament or the Old Testament? That's in the Old Testament, right? So that's way back at the beginning of the Bible. And Jesus is saying, oh, there are things way back, all the way back there in the Bible that are talking about what I have just done on the cross and by rising up. Do you know what that means? That means that the whole Bible talks about Jesus. It's not just the Old Testament about old, old things and the New Testament about new things. The whole Bible is about Jesus. The whole Bible is telling us a story of what Jesus has done for us. And this is what Jesus is saying to them. He's like, guys, don't you understand? Don't you believe this? Then he, by the power that he had, he opened their minds so that they could understand the scriptures. And he told them, this is what is written. The Christ will suffer and the Christ will rise from the dead the third day and repentance and forgiveness of sins will be preached in his name to all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. I am going to send my father. I'm going to send what my father has promised, but stay in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. Wow, that is amazing. And Jesus is saying, look, all these things in the Bible talk about what I have just done on the on the cross and by rising again i have come to make sure that the bible is true and i have done exactly what i said i would do and one thing i wanted to point out this morning in this passage is that jesus says repentance and forgiveness of sins which means salvation from our sins and we can have a right relationship with god through faith in jesus will be preached in his name his name is jesus to all nations. Now, this was a really, really important thing to the people who were listening to Jesus at the time. Now, people who often, people, a lot of the people who followed Jesus were, were people called Jews or, or you know, they had a, a history of being God-selected people, right? Because in the Old Testament, God selected Abraham and all the descendants from Abraham to be his special people. And these people were the ones that Jesus would, or that God would use to show all people who God was. So these were really special people. But you know what? In the time of Jesus, these people who came from Abraham, they thought they were so great. They thought they were so special because they were God's people. And everyone else, oh, you're, you're not as good as us. You don't know God like we do. So we're special because God chose us. Now Jesus says to them, well, guess what? I didn't just die on the cross and rise again to forgive sins for you. I did it for everyone, people of all nations across the whole world, that the salvation that I give can be to all people. And you know what that means? That means that all of us are special to God. Not just those who go to church, not just those who live a certain way, all people can be special to God. God loves all people. And that is a really special message for us today. And that God has, Jesus has done this for all people. And you know what? When we gather together with, with Jesus in heaven, all kinds of people are going to be there. And it's exciting. It's going to be really, really fun and exciting. And so today, that is a really special message for us. And we remember that Jesus really was there, human. He had a body like mine. He ate them. He wasn't just like see-through like a ghost and like kind of alive. No, he was fully alive. And he taught his disciples, look, I have done this for all people, everyone, not just you, but for all people. And that's a really special message for us today. Now, we have some activities that you guys can do that I emailed to your parents so there's that at-home booklet you guys can work on, and there is also some little fun crafts you guys can use. And uh, yeah, I want you guys to go ahead and take some time looking through that and, and doing that together. And it's been fun. I, I enjoy Sunday school with you guys and miss seeing you. But I uh, hope you guys have a great Sunday, and uh, we'll see you guys again soon.